Hi, and welcome to Mods. We're keeping you connected to inspiring science with virtual camp discovery, brought to you by Citrix, the museum's official innovation partner. Pick your poison or venom. Sink your fangs into this video as we highlight different creatures that use toxins as natural defense mechanisms so we can understand the difference between poison and venom. Hey everybody and welcome back. My name is Alina and today I'm going to teach you all about a very important topic if you were to be outside in the wilderness. Venom versus poison. And to help me exemplify that, I have brought my wonderful assistant, Miss Calypso. Now, when you hear venom and poison, a lot of people tend to use that interchangeably when describing snakes, or plants, or insects, but there is in fact a very important difference between the two. Now, a lot of people may think that one is more dangerous than the other, when in fact they're both equally dangerous, but what sets them apart is the matter of how it gets into our bodies. Now, poison is not something snakes are. Poison you have like in plants or in certain type of insects. Now poison has to be ingested, while venom has to be injected either through a bite or a sting. That's why when you think of poison, you talk about food poisoning. When you think venomous, think about a bite or a sting from like an insect. Now, for the example, a lot of people tend to think that snakes must be poisonous, right? Well, that is not the case. Most snakes are not even venomous, but when you, when you apply that to a snake, it is venom. Now, venom is different from poison in another sense that venom is the most animals are born with their venom. Poison, in fact, comes from what an animal eats. Think of like the poison dart frog or poisonous insects. What makes them poisonous is their environment and the food they eat. When they eat it, it basically goes through their system and starts getting produced through the skin. Well, snake's venom is in a special gland somewhere in their mouth. Miss Calypso here, you might notice looks a little bit like a coral snake. Well, that's a big lie. You've probably seen her a couple videos before, but Calypso here is a Nelson's milk snake. Now, Nelson's milk snake comes from central Mexico, roughly, and these guys are non-venomous constrictors. So why is she so brightly colored? Well, out in the wild, they call this mimicry. So while she may have the same colors as a coral snake, that red, yellow, and black, they're not in the right pattern. What happens out in the wild, the animals might see these bright coloration and think she's venomous, when in fact, she's just a big bluffer. She is a non-venomous constrictor. Now, when a lot of people talk about snakes, especially when trying to figure out whether they're venomous or non-venomous, they tend to use the rhyme, red touching yellow is a deadly fellow, and red touching black is a friend to Jack. Now, while it may have come in handy for a long, long time, believe it or not, that is actually inaccurate. What happens is a lot of tropical snakes, whether it be from the Amazon or Africa or somewhere in Europe and Asia, that rhyme cannot apply to them because they can come in all different bright colorations. And whether they're venomous or not, it does not depend on the colorations of red, yellow, or black being together. So for snakes, it's not a one size fit all deal with that rhyme. The best thing to do when you see a snake is to please leave it alone. It is just trying to take care of pests and live its life out in the wild, just like the rest of the animals in the ecosystem. They're very important, just like me, you, and the roaches we don't like. Well guys, I hope you learned a lot about the very important difference between venom and poison. Remember, poison has to be ingested while venom is injected through a bite or a sting. Keep this in mind, if you see any wild snakes or animals, please don't try to go eat anything or bother anything. If it's not in your way or in anywhere immediately in your vicinity, leave it alone. Trust me, your day will go a lot better without having to deal with something that might be venomous or poisonous. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Virtual Camp Discovery. Special thanks to Citrix, Mod's official innovation partner for powering this series. Please stay safe and connected with mods by visiting our social channels at MODSFTL.